No, no, not at all, Emma. Are you sure? I was merely running over the vulgar boatman again. Nothing that can't wait. I nearly turned round when I heard the piano playing. I suspect a number of others feel the same way when they hear me practice. Uh, uh, I don't mean that, Jim. Uh, Jazza certainly does. That's why I was taking advantage of his absence. Uh, do sit down. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I wanted to know if you've discovered anything else about, about the affordable housing. Goodness! Have you hurt yourself, Emma? What? Oh. oh well, that must have been quite a tumble. I oh, know, they're only grass stains. I, I thought I got the worst off. Would you like a sponge? No, no, it's all right. They're, they're dried on. I won't get your chair, OK? Oh, oh. Don't worry. Jazza frequently brings much worse into the living room. Oh, I was going to change before I came over, but I've got so much to do this afternoon. Goalkeeping practice. Ah. George don't want me showing myself up at the fate. The how I ever let Linda talk me into saving penalties. It's surprising how many conversations with Linda follow the same pattern. <laughs> One minute you're discussing the weather, the next you've agreed to do a fan dance on the top of Lakey Hill. And you can't quite remember the way it happened. No. But I assume you want me with my parish clerk's hat on. Have you come up with anything? How can we stop Damara cutting the number of affordable houses? Go on. Go on, you go. Go on. Right. Here's the last of the possibles, Ruth. Her teeth aren't great, and I've a feeling... Uh, yeah, we had to foster one of her lambs on this year. Yeah. Broken mouth and poor mothering. Only one place for her. On you go. How many are we sending off? About a dozen. Oh, OK. All right, boy. I'm guessing from the coveralls and masks that you haven't come to help us, Josh. Um, no. Sorry, Dad. It's the wrecked piece of tarp in the workshop. Uh-huh. It's no use for the clamp anymore. I wondered if I could have it for my paint shop. Along with the rest of the plastic sheet you've nabbed. The feeder wagon's longer than it looks. I had to set up extra bales. So you've actually taken the tarp already? Um, yeah. Sort of. You should have asked before you started. Well, I only remembered when I saw you going through the use. Sorry. Well, I've no objections. Ruth? Me neither. Great. As long as you have no objections to actually making a decision about rent. Um, right. We've certainly talked about it enough. Even though you're not asking Pip for any at Rickyard. You know we don't mean for living here. Commercial rent for Ambridge Farm Machinery. Doesn't farm work count against it? <laughs> yeah. You used to do quite a lot of that. I still do. I've, I've been covering for Pip, haven't I? Sometimes, which we appreciate. I have to do loads more when Mini Pip turns up. We'll all have to do extra when the baby arrives. Don't I get any credit for that? Imagine what AFM would have to pay elsewhere for premises, power, materials. Yeah. Hmm? Hello. Oh, hi, Brian. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Did you get my message, Ruth? Um, I texted about half an hour ago. My phone's in the kitchen. Oh, well, I was passing anyway, so I thought I'd take a chance. I guess I'd better let you get on. Josh. See you. See you, Brian. Uh, yes. We'll speak again later. I'm trying to set up a partnership meeting. Debbie's home tomorrow. Is she? We're arriving first thing. Oh, well, we'd love to see her while she's here. How long is she home for? Only a few days to uh, help resolve everything happening around Low Mead. When are you thinking of? Well, ideally, Friday. Give Debbie time to get up to speed. Morning or afternoon? Which would suit you better? I have to check my diary on my phone. Well, I'm sure Brian won't mind walking the cull group down with you. We're penning them, ready for picking up. We're near enough. We weren't going to bother with the trailer. Is that all right, Brian? Uh, yes. Great. It means I can try pinning Josh down again. That's very enterprising. Oh, I only did it yesterday. First chance I've had. I'll let everyone know you've put a protest page on Facebook. Thanks. Not sure what good it'll do. Well, if it highlights how unscrupulous Damara have been... I don't think there's much else we can do. I've read through everything they sent the parish council very carefully. There's no obvious way to dispute what they're doing. It can't be right. Chopping the number of affordable homes almost in half. Oh, it may not be right, but unfortunately it is legal. No, it shouldn't be. Damara argues that the unforeseen increased costs make it uneconomic to go ahead with the original plan. Justin would say that, wouldn't he? Unfortunately, the bridge farm development is far from unique. 
I've heard of several similar instances in the county. I don't mean they should get away with it. No. But at least they're still building a few sensibly priced properties. Huh. Well, there's no reason why you and Ed shouldn't get one. That's what Ed keeps saying. You're both local and work in the area. You have a young family. I'd imagine you're prime candidates. There's plenty of others like us, Jim. We could easily be leapfrogged. Hmm. Me and Ed weren't guaranteed one when they was building twice as many. What chance we got now? It must be very worrying for you. I mean, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Clary and Eddie have been great sharing a home with us, and so were my mum and dad before that, but you shouldn't have to still live with your parents when you've got children of your own. I'm afraid your generation has been treated very shabbily when it comes to housing. Don't I know it. Well, that's partly why I took Jazzer in as a lodger, I suppose. Guilt about how easy I've always had it. We're not asking for miracles. They should just build enough houses for everyone to have a chance. Yes. That's what was going to happen at Bridge Farm. Until Damara decided they weren't squeezing enough profit out of it. It's disgraceful. I'm inclined to agree with you, Emma. Well, what are we going to do, then? I think you should carry on kicking up a fuss on social media. Try and embarrass Damara. That ain't going to do much by itself. Well, I'm not sure there's a great deal more we can do. We can't reasonably contest the decision unless we can show Damara deliberately misled the planning department. Well, that wouldn't surprise me one little bit. I don't think Justin Elliott would take that sort of risk. He's no need to. Oh, well, I've got to do something. I can't just sit on my hands. Very nice. How long have you been there? Not long. You're doing a good job. Oh, it deserves it. It's a decent wagon. How many coats of primer are you using? Two will do it. I'll top coat tomorrow. Oh, this stuff can't be cheap. It's worth it, if I get the right price, Dad. Which I will do when it's ready to go up on the site. You seem to be moving stuff on quite well. Hmm, getting there. Yeah. Which brings us back to the question of paying your way. Ah, yeah. Now, don't tell me you're too busy to talk about it. No, no, I'm really glad you've brought it up again. Get back. Get out, Tig. <coughs> don't hang around. Good boy. In you go. Thanks, Brian. No, not at all. I'll get me diary. It'll be good having Debbie back for a meeting. Hardly under ideal circumstances. No. Which, to be frank, you've made considerably worse, Ruth. Sorry? What do you mean by that? So, to stop us going round and round in circles, you're not against the idea of rent in theory? Oh, no, not at all. You just don't like the idea of actually paying any? Uh, not right now. You'd rather start at the end of the financial year? That's it. All right. OK, let's see. Uh, seven, eight, nine rent-free months. As much as that? Sorry, why are we supposed to agree? Well, it's more logical, Dad. Is it? Way more. Because if we set a rent based on how AFM's doing now, what's going to happen? Well, your mum and I will get a contribution towards energy costs, depreciation mm. of equipment, the use of land. You could look at it that way. While you are getting a valuable lesson in the realities of running a business. Sounds like win-win to me. Except it might go horribly wrong. Why? Well, what if I hit a trough and nothing sells for a few weeks? It happens to even the best businesses. Well, yes. Suddenly I'm worrying about paying rent I can't afford. You and Mum are feeling dreadful about asking for it. <laughs> Steady on. We're not going to send the heavies in, Josh. Far better to do what you suggest. Let's set a proper commercial rent. <sighs> I am all in favour of that. And the easiest way is wait until the end of March when I know what my annual turnover is. Uh huh. Then see what I can realistically afford to pay in the future. On a quarterly basis, maybe. Pfft, quarterly, six monthly, not an issue. The upside is, you and Mum won't feel bad about stifling my business before it really gets going. That's what I call win-win. OK, fine. Really? You've convinced me. <laughs> Great. On April the 1st, or whenever, you're happy to start paying an agreed rent? Absolutely. Um, OK. And until then, because your mum and I don't want you feeling guilty about taking advantage, how about a little commission on each piece of kit you sell? A commission? Yeah, something small. Five, maybe ten percent net profit. You're joking. No. That way, if you hit a trough, you won't owe us anything. But if it continues to go well, 
We all benefit. Dad! Unless you'd rather start paying a fixed rent straight away. Happy to be flexible, Josh. Whatever suits you best. I'm sorry if that's the impression you got, Brian. It isn't just an impression, it's what happened. I wasn't suggesting to Jennifer you should sell the house. You must have been steering her that way. Telling her about the time you and David almost sold up. I only mentioned it because we were being open about the situation at Home Farm. I mean, it was bad enough suggesting the idea at the last partners' meeting. I didn't bring it up, actually. Kate did. You championed it. I... It doesn't matter. I hope to die to death. Then you start talking about it again with Jenny. I was only trying to apologise in case I'd offended her. She insisted on discussing it, not me. I'd rather you kept well away from the subject in future. Right. You started her thinking in a very unhelpful direction. That wasn't my intention. I'm sure it wasn't. All the same, I... I wouldn't have commented at the meeting either. Only, as Rory's attorney, I have to try and be objective about every proposal that's put forward. And we're very grateful to you for taking the role on, Ruth. It's much appreciated. I'm not looking for thanks. But I'm sure you'll agree there are some subjects which, no matter how well-meaning an outsider is, they're in no position to comment on. Yes, Kate should have kept quiet in the first place, right? I mean, it's bad enough her interference has cost us a sale that could have settled the whole damn business. But it certainly wasn't your place to run with the idea of selling the house. Fine. Hope I've convinced Jenny it's a complete non-starter. Think I have. But if it does come up on Friday... I won't say a word, for or against. I mean, I don't expect it will. Debbie will keep us on track. But if the discussion gets anywhere near... Message received, Brian. Jenny's poured her heart and soul into that house. I know. You really have overstepped the mark this time, Ruth. Don't worry. From now on, I'm happy to go to meetings as a sounding board or mediator. But if anyone asks me personal opinion on Friday, I'm going to keep my mouth tight shut. Robert! Robert, you must see this. Ah, just a second, Lindy. We're making real progress. Aren't we, Monty? Well, the problem was with the followers. It's taken a lot of effort, but we're finally getting I somewhere. I have a feeling it's the snail cams that have been replaced. Better forget how to count if you don't leave the whack-a-mole alone for a moment. Uh, uh, right, uh. Now then, must have some treats ready. Monty, one. <laughs> oh, good boy. <laughs> there you are. One. <laughs> That's quite impressive. A combination of hand and voice, is it? <clears throat> One, two. One, two. Oh, come on, Monty. He was doing it a minute ago. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> He's seen a butterfly. Come back, Monty, Monty. Come Perhaps back. he only counts in binary. Thanks for picking me up. What time did you have to get up for the flight? <laughs> Horribly early. Well, it's much appreciated, Debbie. Mm, Laszlo wasn't too pleased. Your deputy? Mm-hmm. He was due a few days off. I had to drag him back to Intramag to cover for me. Well, if I could see any other way to resolve this. That's no, OK. You've got the most ridiculous ideas flying around about paying for the clean-up. Yeah, yeah, you said. People who should know better. Oh. <laughs> muddying the water with talk about selling the house. <laughs> I know you're not very happy with Ruth. Her? Kate? Ada? Very common sense in very short supply at the moment. Mm. Mum sounds unsettled. The poor mother's very confused. Which is why I need you to help give her a sense of perspective. Yeah, hold on, Dad. I'm not here just to back up whatever you say. I'm not asking you to, Debbie. Clear on your side. Uh, Yep. No, I hope you've come with a completely open mind. Yep. Yes, I have. Good. Because you'll soon see I'm right. (laughs) For the first time in this whole dreadful business, then. Oh, how often do I need to say it? Yes, I made a bad mistake 40-odd years ago. Not denying that. I should never have let TCE onto the farm. I'm thinking about the mistakes you've made more recently. Such as? There's um, less of a queue in this lane. All I'm trying to do is put things right the best way I can. It took you long enough to tell anyone about the TCE. Well, there's no point while it only seemed a minor leak. 
good call. I've already admitted I underestimated the scale. Even then, the truth only came out in dribs and drabs. Have you any idea how angry Adam was? Oh, yes, he's made it abundantly clear. Why keep him in the dark for so long? And the rest of us? I was only trying to protect you. We're not little children. That, that's what makes Kate so mad. Oh, has she been moaning to you? We do all talk to each other, you know. But it'd be a lot easier if she was being reasonable. So I've been thinking of offering a small compensation package if she's prepared to relocate. Have you told her that? I haven't had a chance. She's too busy threatening to sue. Kai-boshing a sale that would have got us out of this mess. Because you didn't involve her until it was far too late. You never take her opinion seriously. I'm sorry, Debbie. Who does? <laughs> Look, I know she can be difficult, uh. but this would all have been much easier if you'd come clean when the fish started dying and been more gracious about stepping down as head of the partnership. Well, I still don't see how that's helped anything. It's taking Adam a long time to get a grip. Look, no one's denying you made a wonderful job of building up and running the farm. Thank you. But times move on, Dad, for everyone. Fresh challenges need fresh thinking. And I'm past it. No, I... You might as well stick me in a field as a scarecrow. Don't seem to be good for anything else. Well, this is going to be a fun stay. Debbie, if you're not interested in my point of view... At least rule out the house sale for your mother's sake. I haven't said anything about selling it. I couldn't bear that. Whatever else I've done, I've always given her a good home. I can't ask her to start again somewhere else. It won't come to that. But I've always thought if I go first, at least she'll have you lot to support her. And the comfort of being in her own home. We all want that. And don't forget Rory. Poor lad's coming up to his exam years. What's he going to think of us if we let him down now? I'm not going to forget anyone's point of view. I'll weigh up everything I see and hear this week before taking sides. And Mum's feelings are a big part of that. I'm fleeing from Bizet. Really? If we like Bizet, oh. don't we, Lindy? Yeah, especially Carmen. Well, well, so do I, but not blaring out over morning coffee. Oh, um, has it anything to do with the fate, Justin? Ah, um... Lillian's preparations to show Ruby. Well, that is precisely why I'm here. Well, I can see you're busy with fate matters yourselves. Is that, um, is that Splat the Rat? A whack-a-mole. <laughs> oh, yes. I've been having trouble with the bearings. Yeah, well, I have some excellent news about the Pets Talent Show. At least I hope you'll like it. Now, what's that? Barrow Farm would like to sponsor first prize. Oh, that's very generous. Well, a specially commissioned portrait of the winning pet by Francesca Lockhart. Oh, my word, that's quite something. Even though she didn't want to judge the competition. Well, she says she'll be happier sticking to what she knows, with Barrow paying her fee, of course. Oh, that's marvellous. Isn't it, Lindy? Mm, yes, I suppose it will generate a certain interest. Plenty. Uh, my one concern, Justin, not for myself, of course, but some of the other entrants may see a conflict of interest in your partner taking part when you are paying for the prize. Well, not if the judge is already well known for complete impartiality. Yeah, which brings me to my next suggestion. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful to have you home, darling. Oh, it's good to be back, Mum. Let's have a proper look at you. Oh, well, I like your hair. Do you? <laughs> Very much so. I thought it looked nice when she came through from customs. You're not tempted to, um, you know, just above the ear. <laughs> Mum, I'm perfectly relaxed about a touch of grey, as long as it's you know, just a touch. Oh, no, I must look a fright. Not at all. <sighs> the past few weeks haven't been very kind to my sleep patterns. Oh, my face. Well, I'm hoping to take some of the stress out of your life. We've been discussing possible strategies to pay for the clean-up. Oh, don't worry about anything like that at the moment, darling. If you want to go and say hello to Rory and, and, and freshen up, I'll, I'll start thinking about lunch. If it's not too early... Uh, I'm not that hungry, actually. Oh. You know what I would like to do? No. Have a good look round the farm. I never oh. really feel home till I've done that. Good idea. Yeah, we can go in the car or take the quads if you like. No, it's all right. I'm sure you're busy. No, not that I'll busy. I'll go round with Mum, if that's OK. Oh, of course it is, darling. Mm -hmm. It'll give the two of us a chance to catch up. 
Monty! Uh, it's not the touch sensors holding you back. Uh, I don't think so. Aren't you coming to say hello? If I can replace oh. one or two of the bearings, I'm sure that moles will start popping up again. I don't know why he doesn't take it straight back to Borsitch a reclamation. It hasn't worked once since he brought it It was away. sold as seen, Lindy. I knew there were one or two issues. It's all part of the fun of getting it ready for the fate. Well, the moles look as if they've seen better days. I've been volunteered to repaint them. We'll have it in good running order on the day. Well, I'm sure you will. And uh, you're happy to put Barrow's sponsorship offer to Fallon, Usher and the rest of the Fate Committee? Oh, yes, yes, it's very kind of you. But you're not so sure about having Neil as a judge? Um... Well, Kenton seemed quite keen when I mentioned it. He's on the committee as well, isn't he? Perhaps Neil could be Plan B. Well, I am still hoping to attract a true local celebrity to open the Fate and, and judge the pets competition. I'm waiting to hear back from Bernie Bennett. Bernie Bennett? Motoring correspondent of the Westbury Courier. Hmm. We had hoped to get someone from the Echo or Borsetshire Life, but still, Bernie drops through the letterbox in over 9,000 local homes each week. And you've oh. always got the comfort of Neil as a backup? Yes. Monty! Uh, I'm sure he wouldn't let you down. Monty, not on the lemon balm, please! Uh, right, well, I'll let you get on. Um, though it might not hurt to take another look at the touch senses, Robert. The contractors might be putting another pump in. Not certain. Brian doesn't tell me much about it these days. Mm. I'm afraid I don't ask. I've seen photos and Adam sent some videos, but... Oh, dreadful, isn't it? You don't quite get it till you see it for yourself. No, I avoid passing low mead now, if I can. Isn't that feeble of me? No. I feel so helpless, Debbie. It... Yeah, it's like an open wound on the landscape. Yeah. And it was all so tranquil down here. Yeah, it's a good patch of land, or was. Mm. And the costs. Yeah, the figures Dad mentioned are horrendous. And look, let's not talk about it anymore. I want to catch up on the gossip. It's all right. I don't need treating with kid gloves. No. No, and don't worry. We're not expecting you to come up with a miracle to suddenly put everything right. We know it's an impossible situation. Mm. I can't see any easy way to raise the capital. We've looked at a great many options already. Uh -huh. Perhaps Kate's right. We should consider putting the house up for sale. No, Mum. No, I don't want to, far from it, but we'd need to sell far less land if we do. Well, that's neither here nor there. Yes, it is. No, we can't let that happen. It means so much to you. Someone has to lose out, Debbie. Well, yes. But Kate with spiritual home and... Adam tearing up his plans for the farm and, and well, your share's going to be worth far less. Oh, I can live with that. It's just, oh, well, Alice is upset because Price Bowman won't work with us anymore. And, well, it just doesn't stop. Is that Rory and Ed? Oh, yes. Ed's giving him lessons on the quad bike. Oh. The busier he is, the better. Yeah, we've tried keeping the worst of what's happening from him. Oh, Rory's not stupid. No, no, far from it. He hates seeing everyone at odds, and so do I. Oh, Mum. And that's why if sacrificing the house means keeping the family together without any more dreadful bitterness... No, no, it, no, no. It's, no, it's impossible. You can't live anywhere else. But of course I can. I grew up over the ball, didn't I? And if you'd seen some of the places I lived in when Adam was little... Yeah, I... That was then. This is now. These are meant to be your golden years. Oh. <laughs> Look, you have spent your whole life making sacrifices for us, and especially for Dad. It's time we started looking after you. If it's the only way, I shouldn't mind that badly. Mum, but... you're not to blame for all this. Dad is. <sighs> he admits it. And whatever else he's got wrong, he doesn't want to see you suffer anymore. None of us do. So, no more talk about selling the house, all right? It's all very well saying that, Debbie. But we've got to raise the money somehow. Yeah. Which is why my job this week is finding a better way to do it. Mind if I walk them back with you, Ruth? If you've got the time. Go on. I was on my way to farm supplies anyway. We're way down on insulators and tensioners. Oh, yeah? I uh, wanted to check in with you, face to face. About the partnership meeting? To see where your head's at, before we consider any new proposals for carving up the farm. Keep going! 
Well, that's for the rest of you to decide, Adam. I'm going to stay quiet as a mouse on Friday. Sorry? Brian came over at the weekend, told me my comments on paying for the clean-up aren't helpful. He... he did what? That's a fair point. Go on! No, no, it isn't. He's told you to shut up at the meeting. Put it a little more politely than that. But he made it clear this is family-only stuff. Oh, that's right, it is family, which includes Rory, whom you're representing. On you go! Usually, I'd agree with you. Well, well, you understand far more about the risks in selling land than Alice and Kate do. It's more about the house. Well, all the same. Do you think it should be sold? Oh! I, I don't know what the right option is. Definitely not slicing and dicing some of our best acreage. I can see why he's upset, even considering giving up your home to settle a debt. Well, I don't feel comfortable about it either. None of us does. But Brian's way out of line, saying you can't even express an opinion. It's OK. I can see he's under a lot of pressure. We all are, Ruth. I was telling Debbie last night about the knock-on effects, the business we've lost, the strain it's put on Mum. Come on, there's better grass in the field. How is Debbie? Fine. Good. Can't get over the state low meads in, or how stupid Brian's been. I'm looking forward to seeing her at the meeting. I hate even thinking about some of the options. But as you said last time, selling the house would go a long way towards paying for the clean-up. It makes sense on the balance sheet, maybe. That's it. Wait there. Gate oh, swung shut. But this is about a lot more than money. Oh, absolutely. It's everybody's future at stake. Out me way. Maybe Kate won't bring it up again, but if we do start talking about it, setting it against some of Debbie's new ideas, maybe. That's it. I, I don't want Brian shutting everyone up without a discussion. That'd really tip Kate over the edge. Might do. Never seems to learn. He can't control everything all by himself. Not anymore. I'm going to stay out of it. <sighs> what, and leave Rory without a voice? Go on. Uh... You mustn't let yourself be pushed around, Ruth. I'm not. We need an unbiased opinion in there. The rest of us are, are too close to the problem to be objective. I can see that. If we've exhausted every other avenue, and you think selling the house makes more financial sense than the new land proposals, you should go ahead and say so. Doing anything exciting later, Rex? Uh, this evening? Yeah. Uh, not in particular. Why, Nish? Are you with the pigs? Yeah, yeah, I'm just strawing down. <laughs> I thought I could hear them. Um, can you come to Blossom Hill? Uh, sure. What sort of time? Whenever suits you. OK. The only snag is I won't be around for a while. I'm in Waterley Cross till really late. Oh. I've had to bring forward some routine appointments. I'm trying to cram everything in before I leave. Well, if you text, I'll come over when you're home. Thing is, I need more boxes. Oh. Loads of them. I've got to start packing, haven't I? Uh, yeah, I guess so. No time to breathe this week. Could you be a real star and go to the supermarket for me? Sure. They usually have a stack just past the counters. Yeah, yeah, I know where they are. Will you go for the biggest you can and dump them in the living room? I can't believe how much stuff I've got to shift. Yeah, I can. I promise I won't crowd out our new flat. Hey, isn't that great? Uh, what, what, the practice offering you temporary accommodation? Offering us? I've told them you're coming with me. But you know what? What? Better pick up some boxes for yourself, too. You'll be following on soon enough. Uh, yeah, once I'm sorted out here. Let's hope that won't take long. Uh, shouldn't do. I'll try to get back as soon as I can. Fix yourself a drink and watch some telly while you're waiting. Yeah, if I can see past the cardboard boxes. Oh, what do you reckon? Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Great. OK, then. Although, uh, I'm an idiot. I have an early start in the morning. Vaccinations in Loxley Barrett. Um... Uh, Wait, is it better if I just drop the boxes off and don't hang around? I feel awful. Do you mind? No, 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 that's fine. You are one in a million, Rex. I'll make it up to you tomorrow night, eh? Uh, possibly. I'll have to check. Stop slacking, bro! That should be OK. Great. Got to go. Must catch Alistair. See you tomorrow. Bye. Get those arcs cleaned. Oh, don't start, Toby. Oh, what's the matter? Somebody snaffled your pig nuts. Oh, uh, Anisha. Brilliant. I wasn't sure I'd see you this morning, Alistair. I've only called to, um, pick up some antibiotics for Nick Spring. I'm off there now. Well, this'll cheer you up. Graham's agreed to stand in for me. Oh, you got hold of him. He says he'll do all the equine work from the 23rd onwards. The 23rd? Yeah. 
That's less than two weeks away. You're not serious. Afraid so. You can't do that. I've already agreed. Why that quickly? Newmarket's been giving me the hurry up. The guy I'm replacing's off sooner than they thought. Well, what about your appointments and clinics here? That's why I've twisted Graham's arm so hard. That's not fair, Anisha. How am I supposed to have anything ready by then? Alice. Hi. Just got here? Uh, just leaving. Oh. Yeah, I've left Debbie a drone pack to look at. I'm due back at Price Bowman. Did you and Brian dream this up together? What? You do know what he's been up to. I haven't a clue what you're on about, Adam. I was talking to Ruth earlier. Mm. He's warned her to keep quiet at the partnership meeting. Keep quiet? Yeah. He went over at the weekend. Said he doesn't want her speaking up about the farmhouse on Friday. Oh. What a nerve. What does he think the meeting's for? Does she want to bring it up again? No. Well, I'm not sure. It, she'd better not. It's a crazy idea, Adam. It's a crazy situation. There aren't any good options. Yeah, Ruth's interfering doesn't help. She's as much right to speak as anyone else. <laughs> well, at least she's completely unbiased. Well, she shouldn't keep pushing the same terrible idea. She's not pushing it. Yeah. She's just saying there might be more benefits to selling the house than hacking the farm to pieces. She keeps trying to ram it down our throat. No, throne. she doesn't. She was all in favour at the last meeting. Had another go at Mum last she's week. She's entitled to say what she thinks. She's Rory's attorney. Get it. Dad hates the idea. He can't bear the thought of Mum being forced out. No one can. Yeah, except Kate. And if someone's egging her on... We've got to be free to say what we think. Within limits. Come on! You must see this business with Ruth is completely unacceptable. Oh, I agree. Totally. She virtually said the same as you. Good for Pip. Go and enjoy some fresh adventures. She's right. It'll be awesome. I wish everyone wasn't quite so keen to see me go. <laughs> you're just a bit nervous about it, Rex. No, I'm not. Once you're there, you'll have a great time. Yeah, I know I will. And that flat she's lined up, that looks amazing. Yeah. No yeah. more sharing with me and Bert. That's got to be a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, though, it's a big step, moving in together properly. You're just not very good with change, that's all. No, it's not that. You were in bits when they stopped showing Inspector Gadget. Toby. I, are you going to help me put up a shelf in the distillery? Nope. Hey, go on. Oh, it'll be easier with two of us. I'm busy. I can wait. <clears throat> Though, you might want to get a wash before we go in. Don't want the next batch of scruff smelling too piggy. I mean, I know it'll be great, but... But what? <sighs> the only thing still bugging me, and I've asked Anisha a couple of times... Yeah, what on earth she sees in you? Why didn't she discuss it with me before accepting the job? Instead of landing it on me afterwards. Well, be realistic. A high flyer like her, if an opportunity crops up, you have to grab it. Without telling your boyfriend? Oh, she knows you'll pick up work eventually. I mean, <laughs> they must have pigs in Newmarket. And taxi work. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something. Though, I, I don't want to drive any more taxis. There'll be plenty of opportunities. And it's not like it needs to be well paid. Why not? Facts of life. She's the earner. You're the lightweight. <laughs> Cheers, Toby. <laughs> That's no big deal. I've been through that with a few women myself. It is OK. Is it? I'm quite envious, actually. Off to a buzzing new town with a woman you love. No money worries, because you're going to be a kept man. You tell Anisha, if she changes her mind about you, I'm already warming up on the subs bench. I can make the first approach, if you like. No, thanks, Anisha. I don't mind. I'm perfectly capable... I'm not saying otherwise. Even if I do go somewhere specialising in veterinary loans, you're still living in dreamland. I had a quick check. The rates are quite reasonable. You don't get to rush me on this. As per the partnership agreement, you'll get what you're due. I know the timing's terrible. What? Why did you convince me to have so much work done if you didn't intend staying around? I did intend to stay. I could easily have sold the practice to Lovell James. They were very interested. I know. Only I didn't, because I thought I'd found the perfect partner. I'd stay independent. I could start winding down ever so slightly towards retirement while Ambridge continued to get the service it needs. I thought that's what I wanted too. Oh, really? <laughs> Some women change their minds so easily. Alistair, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. Oh, next spring I'll be wondering where I've got to. Alistair! What? I really did think this was what I wanted. When I first came here, I couldn't imagine anything better. But now you can. Losing Mum, 
It made me realise we don't get that much time, do we? To do what we want with our lives. Spare me the inspirational speech. It's honestly not you. You've been a good friend. You don't have to explain. It's the opportunity. I want to stretch myself to the limit. Find out how good an equine vet I can be. And that means working with the very best horses. That's the only reason for Newmarket. I'm so glad you're going to get what you want, Anisha. It's just a pity you have to trample over me to get there. Don't go wandering, Tig. <sighs> Not there. Can you pull forward, Alice? We're expecting the tanker any minute. I'm not staying. I just want you to back off. Pardon? Adam told me what you're planning to do at the partnership meeting. I'm not planning to do anything. Supporting Kate on the house sale? I didn't say that. You told him it's better than any of the other options. From a financial angle, maybe. But that's not reason Even though my father begged you not to say anything. I don't want to say anything. It'd destroy him. Making Mum give up her home. I get that. Yeah, but you're still willing to back Kate. No, I tried telling your father and Adam. Only you lot can make that decision. It's not up to me. You're too right it's not. Oh, I'm only doing this as a favour. Because I was asked to look after Rory's interests. In other words, it's none of your damn business. As a matter of fact, it is, Alice. But maybe it soon won't be. Because the way you lot are carrying on, I'm this close to quitting the partnership. Understand? If you've come to give me a lecture, Debbie... I know, I haven't, I promise. Good. I haven't got the headspace. I found some mould. Ugh. And Lucy can't have weatherproofed the yurts properly while I was in South Africa, at least. Not this one. Um, I can lend a hand? Nope, there's no need. The only good thing about so few bookings is being able to catch up on maintenance. Yeah, you keep spiritual home in pretty good shape, Kate. Of course I do. And uh, Mum said that she and Phoebe gave you a hand the other week too. Well, I can't offer clients spiritual cleansing if they don't feel comfortable in their surroundings. No. Which is why low mead is such a nightmare for me. Yeah, I've um, some suggestions about that. If you've got a minute, I've come up with one or two ideas. Such as? Well, um, one possibility... Wait a sec, so all this dark tablet's been playing up all morning. Oh, wait, that's it. Uh, yeah, instead of um, selling separate parcels of land like Dad tried last week, we could sacrifice Oak Bank altogether, like this. But you're still selling a strip through Broadacre with it? Less than before. No, opposite the yurts, that's no good. Um, otherwise, we can't offer access. No. I, I, can't, I can't see a way round it. You said you had another idea? Uh, well, yeah. Um, this goes back to selling several parcels, um, uh, most of them towards leaders. You see? Now, they'd make quite an attractive package. It's with the same part of Broadacre going. It might not be so heavily used this way. Oh, forget it. But I, I really have tried. Whatever we sell, we've got to offer access. You're as bad as everyone else. You just don't get it, do you? What this place means to me. Yeah, perhaps I don't. So, why don't you tell me about it? Oh, thanks. Just the job. Oh, happy to lend it, Robert. Well, I'm not sure what's happened to my angle grinder. I have a feeling James and Leone, you know, borrowed it last time they were here. We won't need it for long, Dave. Almost there. Well, despite you helping. <laughs> and your brother's had some good ideas. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's a fascinating challenge. Getting the whack-a-mole working again. What's the problem? Well, originally, I thought it was the snail cams. Yeah, you know, the uh, little um, was it, gizmos converting rotary motion to lift the yeah, levers. I know what snail cams are, thank you, Kenton. When they checked out, we looked at the followers. Yeah. And then I thought that it might be an underpowered motor. Now nah, we can rule that out. Yeah, yeah, maybe. It's had quite a history. Several parts appear to have been cannibalised. I assume you've checked the touch sensors. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, no, several times. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, from mm. this angle, the frame looks slightly out of true. The boys are in here, 
Jim. Afternoon, gentlemen. Oh, uh, hello, Jim. Ah, thanks for coming over. Your wife's been showing me her moles, Robert. <laughs> Quite something, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> they will be when I finish painting them. Oh, they'll be fabulous. As long as we can get the blessed machine working again. Well, how's it going? Well, is that why you're here? Uh, Robert told me there's a glitch, and since I do have some facility in these matters... It's very good of you to come over. Uh, mm, quite a beast, isn't it? <laughs> mm. We've ruled out the snail cams. And the followers. And the motor. Well, mm. ah, what about the touch sensors? Mm. It took me so long to choose the right place. Out of the wind, not too close to the trees, mm -hmm. well away from the pylons and Littleton. It's a beautiful spot. And the first time I walked through it, I felt such a positive energy, a healing force coming out <laughs> of the ground. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. No, no, I'm not, Kate. Well, Dad does, if I try to explain, and Alice. Look, having the right atmosphere must be so important for what you're doing. And you can look across to the Am and Hayden Brook from here. Leaders Wood. Mm. There's always so much sky. Whenever I'm really down or fed up with myself, I come here and look around to connect with something bigger than just me and my skin. We all need that, mm. even if we find it in different ways. I, I really do understand why you want to keep spiritual home here. Well, nowhere else on the farm comes close. I don't want to sue. No, no. And if Dad forgets about selling Broad Acre, I'll drop it at once. I won't ask for anything else from the partnership. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if, if that isn't possible, um, look, I, I've talked about this with Dad. Perhaps we could offer you compensation. No. Even if it's enough to make a fresh start elsewhere. No, that's the last thing I want. Oh. All I ever do is make fresh starts. I'm sick of it. Well, scrap that then. I was stupid enough to think about moving away a couple of weeks ago because it's what I've done my whole life. Mm. Chuck everything up in the air when things go wrong. Until I started Spiritual Home. I love this place, Debbie. And I'm making it work. I don't want to give it up. OK. I know it just seems like a joke to you. No, no, it, it doesn't. Well, it must do. I mean, you've always been brilliant at everything. <laughs> what? I'm a fantastic farmer and Dad's favourite. Hardly. You've got a wonderful job in Hungary. Everyone respects you. Yeah. How about I envy you three wonderful children? <laughs> well, three kids who didn't think much of me until... And, you know, that's what's been so great. Phoebe sticking up for me over spiritual home. It's the first time she's ever done that. Yeah, that must feel good. And Lola Tando likes me doing something with my life. I've even been getting on better with Sipo. I'm becoming the sort of mum that they could look up to. Yeah, I can see that. It's not just spiritual home you all want me to give up. It's everything that makes my life worth living. Progress of a sort. Oh, not really. I, we've lost the random element. We can't call it whack-a-mole if there's only one of the little beggars moving up and down. Whack-the-mole? Oh, it's less a game of skills, more like out-and-out -out bullying. Where's Robert got to? Rooting out his 30-part socket set. He thinks he'll have to take the whole thing apart again. Oh, uh, I've got to watch the time. I've more flags to put out before the semi-final. Who do you think will win? Oh, Jim, it's got to be England, hasn't it? Especially the way Maguire, Kane and Tripps are playing. You know, I can't say I usually find football compelling, but I've been drawn in this time. Though it would be unwise to underestimate Croatia. Whoa. Oh, Dave was right. Sorry? Before he scuttled off. About the touch sensors, I told you so. No. Now, where's the spirit level? Hello, Debbie. David, are you busy? Um, no more than usual. What are my chances of a stiff drink and a sympathetic ear anytime soon? Oh, 
Um, when are you talking about? Uh, ideally now. Oh, right. Mm, before I go mad, I'm having the... Oh, a visit from hell. Oh, no, come right over. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it'll be great to see you. <laughs> Thanks. And, um... But Ruth probably wouldn't mind a quick chat while you're here. I think you'll see quite a transformation from earlier, Lindy. Well, I'm glad something worked out this afternoon. Oh, are you joining us, Monty? I rang the courier again. He's still out and they won't give me his number. Oh, Bernie Bennett. Why not do what Justin suggested? Ask Neil instead. Is this Bernie Bennett the motoring correspondent? Yeah. Girl I spoke to promised me he'd call back by tomorrow. I didn't know he was a real person. Well, a very elusive one. I assumed it was whoever they have on work experience that week. And Neil will be perfect for Pets Party pieces. Hmm. The rest of the fake committee thinks so. Don't they, Monty, eh? Let's wait till I've spoken to Bernie. Now then, the breakthrough. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I finally spotted a problem. Well, David did. The frame was very, very slightly wonky. Uh, one of the Perspex panels was catching a snail cam. And throwing everything else out of sync. Ah. It's fixed now. <laughs> or will be, once the moles are in place. Oh, here we are. It should be dry. Ah, thanks. So let's pop them on the followers. Any more luck with Monty this afternoon? Nope. He's been quite skittish. Oh, shame on you, Monty. At one stage, I thought he'd mastered counting to five. That's good. But it was only a wood pigeon setting him off. You've given these moles a very extraordinary expression, Linda. Yeah, very aggressive. I prefer assertive. There you go. Felt very sorry for them, constantly being clobbered with a mallet. There we are. OK. Ready, Lindy? Oh, yes. We start. Not a mole in sight. And then, as if by magic... Oh, 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 no. Never mind, Lindy. I'm sure we can fit a new head on before the fate. Yeah. There you go. Oh, cheers. If you want something stronger, we could go back to the kitchen. No, I'd rather stay out here. So, you had a chat with Ruth, then? Yeah. Oh, I can't apologise enough. Oh, it's not your fault. It's my family's fault. Well, it has been pretty full on this week. Brian, Adam, Alice, all giving her an ear bashing. I know. She was talking about resigning as Rory's oh, attorney. I wouldn't blame her if she did. We had a good moan about how impossible it all is. Oh, it must be awful. I don't know how much uh, Ruth's told you. Oh, Nothing that isn't common knowledge. She takes her role seriously. Mm, well, you've got the general idea. We have to raise an awful lot of capital, which means selling land or buildings we don't want to lose. Yeah. None of us can agree on it. Kate's got her ideas, so's Alice. Neither of them will budge an inch. I, mean, I can't really blame oh, them. And I had hoped for more wriggle room with Adam, even though he hates the idea of selling off land. No luck? He'd reluctantly agreed to one possible package, but since the buyer backed out and we've had to come up with alternatives, he's digging his heels in. Says the new proposals be like death by a thousand cuts. To see the farm start shrinking must be soul-destroying. Yeah, he's got a point. But just like Kate and Alice. And there's Rory to look after. Which is why we're so grateful to Ruth. And you've got your own share of the business to consider. Oh, never mind me. I'm more concerned about protecting Mum's interests. And Dad's. Whatever else he made the farm what it is today, we can't just ignore his opinion. <laughs> I can't imagine him letting that happen. No. I spent so much time dreaming up alternatives. None of them are any good. No. <sighs> oh, it's turning me inside out, David. <laughs> Whatever the meeting decides on Friday, someone I love is going to get very badly hurt. He always leaves it charging and forgets when he goes to work. You could try the grain store, Emma. Oh. Ed might still be cleaning it out ahead of the harvest. Right. Though, oh, they could be with a deer. I don't know if they finished the new fence yesterday. But... I can't just leave his mobile with you, Jennifer. Oh, right. Only I've promised to do an area in the tea room while Fallon catches up on her accounts. Oh, I suppose so. Ed's bound to come back to the house sometime. I'd be really grateful. I'll make sure he gets it. Thanks. 
Um, and before I dive off, mm -hmm. have you heard any more about the Bridge Farm development? Oh, uh... I wondered if Justin realises how unhappy people are about the cuts he's making. Well, I wouldn't know. I haven't spoken to him for a while. I'm getting a lot of engagement on Facebook. Perhaps you could create a link from the village website. Not today, Emma, if you don't mind. I've rather more pressing matters to worry about. Is this what you call working from home, Alice? I was collating drone pilot feedback at six o'clock this morning. Oh, good for you. I deserve a break. Did your mother send you after me? What? To see what I'm up to? No. Honestly? I wanted to stretch my legs. I knew you were checking on the barley. I'm allowed to spend time with my dad, aren't I? I'm amazed anyone wants to these days. Oh, stop it. Sorry. I was imagining what it would be like in a few years. Driverless combines and tractors bringing in the harvest. Mm. Someone's got to start doing it in Borsetshire. Why not us? It'll be a long time before Home Farm has the capital for anything like that. One of our mantras at PB, the more early adopters, the quicker costs come down. Well, by the time it happens, your mother and I may not be around to see it. Oh, of course you will. Not if Kate gets her way. She's not going to. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Whoa, boy. Yeah, you persuaded Lillian, then? Oh, she's more than happy for me to take Amir out. He's a joy to ride. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Aren't you, Amy? Did you manage to change your flight? Yep. Oh, I'm sure Intramag could last another day without you. Oh, Laszlo doesn't think so. Oh, what a wimp. When are you off? Uh, yeah, Saturday morning. So, we have to get it right tomorrow. We certainly do. I can't keep popping back from Hungary for partnership meetings. It won't take long. Oakbank's the only sensible option. There are downsides to all of them, Alice. Any thoughts yet which way you're going to vote? The only decision I've made is to get some fresh air and exercise. I seem to have had a permanent headache since I arrived. Come on, Amir. Enjoy your ride. Let's yeah, see you at lunch. If you're staying, Alice. Yeah, maybe. See you later. Mm -hmm. She wasn't very forthcoming, was she? She'll go for it, Bank. I'm not sure she will. Mm, she's too smart not to. It might not be enough even if she does. Ruth's a wild card and Kate's against us. As for Adam and your mother... Be positive, Dad. We're going to win. I don't feel very positive. Not only have you got the best arguments, but you've got me totally behind you. Thanks, darling. We just have to stay focused tomorrow until everyone agrees to concentrate on selling land, not the house. Are you all right having Kira and George Saturday afternoon, Mum? Oh, I can do. Ed's working and now Fallon's asked me to do extra in the tea room. Oh, it's no bother, love. Oh, did you all watch it together last night? Of course we did. Oh, wasn't it disappointing? George was so upset we're not going on to the final. Still, they did very well to get so far. Mm. Yeah, I might persuade your dad to start wearing a waistcoat. <laughs> All the best managers do. Yeah. Oh, it's still too hot. I'd better leave here. Oh, I've made it for you now. Sit and enjoy your tea. I don't want to hold you up. Oh, we can have a few more minutes in the sun if you're giving me a lift. <sighs> it's handy, Eddie, letting you have the van. It's only for this morning. I've got so much on. Makes it a lot easier getting to Bridge Farm. Have Pat or Tony said anything? Not much to me. I think they're too embarrassed. Uh, so they should be. Making out they were doing the village a favour, letting Damara build there. Mm, doing their bank balance a favour, more like. Yeah. Ed keeps saying there's nothing we can do. Oh, well. It's Justin's land now and he can do whatever he wants with it. No, well, that's true, as far as it goes. Well, not if he's lied to the planning people. Oh, he won't have. You don't know, Mum. That's why I've been emailing the council and asking around. Oh, he sort don't have to. They're powerful enough to get what they want without breaking the law. <laughs> That's why it pays to be friends with them. Oh, yeah, they all watch each other's backs. <laughs> of course they do. It's like Jennifer just now, making out it don't matter if me and Ed can't buy our own home. Just because she's safe and secure in her fabulous mansion. Chances are you will get one, love. Don't forget, you've got a secret weapon. Isn't Rory eating with us? No, he's at the buttons. Oh. He's developing a thing for Molly. No, he isn't. <laughs> he gets on better with Tilly, as a matter of fact. Is Tilly the pierced eyebrow? The nose stud. Oh. 
<laughs> Why haven't you started? We're waiting for you, Mum. Oh, you shouldn't have. Do tuck in. Mm. This is very nice, Jenny. Only a simple salad. The ham looks gorgeous. Mm, so does the chicken. Well, as Kate's not joining us, I don't feel guilty about putting out a choice of meat. <laughs> Actually, since she isn't here... Brian... I only want to sound you out on Oak Bank. No, that's not fair. On Kate, Adam or Ruth. We are not discussing farm business over lunch, thank you very much. Mm. Got it, Brad? Mm, thanks. I can't see the harm in having some idea of what everyone's thinking. Brian, we've said no. Is that so really hopeless? He's perfectly competent. Mm. Your deputies all sounded a bit of a drip to me. Uh, that's a little initiative, perhaps. Well, that's no good in a senior position. In farming, you have to stick your neck out sometimes. Mm, that's right. Yeah, it doesn't always pay off. Occasionally, you make mistakes. That doesn't mean no one should ever listen to you again. Did you enjoy your hack, darling? Oh, loved it. Oh, good. I heard something very odd going through the village. Mm -hmm. Is Morris really doing fortune telling at the fete? <gasps> Tom sausage maker. Oh, that's what I heard. <coughs> From Jazza was telling Johnny outside the shop. <laughs> oh, that can't be right. Sabrina's doing it this year. Oh, I'm sure he said Morris. Oh, it was a wind up, Deb. Uh, Auntie Lillian wasn't convinced either. He mm. made counselling straight away. Mm, we had a really long horsey chat mm -hmm. when I brought him here back. Oh, she'll have enjoyed that. Yeah, it got me thinking back to when I started riding. Oh. Did she say anything about her new passion for pop music? Lillian? When I went past the Dower House yesterday, she'd got ABBA blasting out at full volume. The winner takes it all, I think it was. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Are you coming, ma'am? I am now. I was leaving your father a bite to eat when he gets in. He'd say the same as me, love. Don't worry. Oh, I can't help it, ma'am. We had our set on one of them houses for so long and now we might lose it. You know we'll always back you, Emma, but there's no need to kick up too much of a fuss yet. I know what you said, but we can't just let Damara get away with it. Look, wait till your father's had a chance to say something. He won't like that. Oh, he won't mind. Sticking up for his daughter and her family. Now he's just in his right-hand man at Barrow, he'll be able to pull a few strings for oh, you. That don't seem right. Look, it's like you were saying about Jennifer. Those are the circles we're moving in now. Oh. You watch my back, I'll scratch yours. Look, it's not just me and Ed. Even if we're lucky, someone else is going to lose out, and that just ain't fair. No, it isn't. But our first priority is making sure you and Ed are amongst the winners. Not the losers. Oh, why didn't we you to stack the dishwasher? Oh, it's done now. Uh, though I'm not sure where the tablets are. Oh, leave that. And come and sit down. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Uh, took some digging out. Oh, I didn't mean to be a pain. Oh, nonsense. I should keep the albums better organised. Right, let's see. Oh, it's ages since I've looked this one out. Uh, there we are. Oh. Look, moonbeam. <laughs> oh, you look so thrilled. What a smile. <laughs> the missing tooth. Yeah. What was I, five, six? Uh, five, I think. Uh. Brian bought him for you very early on. Mum, can you scan me a copy? Mm. thought you had one. No, I haven't got any of these. Oh, well, we'll have to see what we can do. Oh, this one must have been taken just after we moved in. Oh, yes. Soon after the wedding... Oh. The rooms look so huge. <laughs> they were, compared to some of those pokey places we've been staying in. Oh, I'd forgotten the dresser. What a monstrosity. Oh, well, Brian had tried very hard, <laughs> but uh, nothing quite matched in the early no, days. Until you took charge. <laughs> he wanted me to make the house look nice. Yeah, you certainly did. Well, you wouldn't recognise it's the same kitchen. Oh, oh, I must show you. Is it somewhere there? May I? Oh, yeah. yeah. The bathroom... As was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you needed ladders to get into the bath. Yes. I decided very early on it had to go. Yeah, I remember you saying. <laughs> I didn't try to do everything at once, though. Brian was convinced it was all the last word in mod cons, mm. but um, gradually I made the house into a home. Yeah, you certainly did. Oh, look at Adam. <laughs> oh, Is that I know. what it must be, what, Kate he's holding? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, isn't she tiny? Oh, well, it can't be that long after she was born. Mm. 
He's clutching her like a hand grenade. <laughs> well, he was never very comfortable with Kate or Alice as babies. Mm, I'm amazed how much he's looking forward to having one of his own. Mm. Ian's been so good for him. Yeah. Let's hope it went well with Lexi yesterday. Adam said there weren't any problems. Well, there's a long way to go yet. Yeah, he knows, but when we were talking about it, he seemed so optimistic about the future. Oh, only if we can settle things here. Yeah. Any further thoughts on the clean-up? Uh, not really. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Mum. I really thought I might come up with something. No one could have tried harder. I hadn't realised how polarised everyone had become. Mm. And it's Ruth I feel most sorry for. Oh, yeah. She was kind enough to ring earlier to apologise oh. again in case I'd been unsettled by any of her comments. No, it's her fault. No, well, that's what I told her. She must feel like the keeper in a monkey house. Do you have a favoured option? Well, I'm, I'm still dithering. Sometimes selling Oak Bank seems a good idea. And it doesn't to Adam or Kate. Yeah, and that's why I go back to the parcels by Leaders Wood. Which still leaves the problem of a spiritual home. Mm. I must have cut Whiteacre apart five different ways. Oh, that'd be tearing out the heart of the farm. Yeah. What about... Letting this place go. The house? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, Mum. Even if it means selling far less land, uh, keeping the farm more or less intact. No. Well, why not, if it makes financial sense? Because... Because of what we've been looking at. You've put your whole life into this. Mm -hmm. You made it our home. There's no way I can vote for that tomorrow. That's what your heart's telling you, darling. What's your head saying? Morning, Hannah. Hiya. How come you're mucking out, not Duncan? He rang in sick half an hour ago. Says he's got a bug. Oh, that's a nuisance. I don't think he'll be off long. That's if there's anything wrong with him in the first place. I haven't seen him anywhere, Mum. Oh. Mind you, I've been pumping up tyres since I got here. We should be ready to get going early next week, depending on the weather. Yeah, fingers crossed. We've got the grain store clear and the combine serviced. Now it's only the trailers. I do wish he'd told me where he was going. Uh, you've tried ringing? Well, I've left him a message, texted, no response at all. Well, Brian's not going to miss the meeting, is he? No. And that starts in, what, uh... Less than an hour, you'll see him then. Yeah, well, I wanted to find him before that. He had a very restless night. Oh, I bet we all did. And then he left the house without any breakfast. Well, he was like that with BL sometimes. Well, not often. If something important's coming up, he likes time by himself. I've uh, looked in the office and everything's laid out. Uh, excuse me, Mum. Oh, right. There are maps of the farm and copies of the different oh, proposals. He'll have found a quiet spot to mull over what he's going to say. Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, which do I prefer? The devil or the deep blue sea? Which is the least bad option? Oak Bank's definitely the worst. Mm -hmm. I'm not too impressed with Debbie's latest proposals for Whiteacre. And what about the, the other possibilities? Oh. Um, look... You don't need to worry, Mum. You're not going to lose no, out. I, I'm not talking about me. I, I don't think even Kate really wants that. I only want what's best for the family. We know. And we've had a few chats, especially Debbie and me, despite Brian trying to stamp out any debate. And what have you come up with? We still can't agree on the best way forward. Don't <sighs> be afraid of speaking your mind, Adam. If you think Kate's suggestion has some no, merit, no, then you... No, no, no. Whatever the financial rights and wrongs, we can't do that. We'd never be able to forgive ourselves. Well, I'd best get on then. Let the board know what we've been up to. OK. Uh, don't be too hard on Duncan when he comes back. I won't. He's still finding his feet. Some youngsters are like that. It takes them a while to grow into a job. That's true. <sighs> Hannah, what's bothering you? It's not bothering me. He just reminds me of one or two guys I took on in the States. Then had to let go. Why? Their attitude. 
They didn't respect the animals. We're always looking to cut corners. And you think Duncan's like that? Well, no. He came over very well in interview, thoughtful and determined. It was only because he can't have cleaned properly round the guardrails. Oh. Some of the muck isn't fresh. He must have missed it when he was in yesterday. Well, we'll have to tell him to be more thorough in future. I'll do it. I better get cracking. Mm. I still need to get the tractor to finish this off. Oh, well, I can do that if you like. You need to get the weekly figures sent off, don't you? Mm hmm. Uh, I don't suppose you'd uh, glance over them before I let the board have them, would you? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that Susan? Hmm? Eh? Waving from the other side of the fence. Ah, what on earth does she want? Oh, I don't know why I've got to write it down. You know who I am, Neil. Every visit to the unit has to be logged. Oh, couldn't you have popped out to see me in the car park? I'm at work, Susan. I'd have thought twice if I'd known. You're getting off lightly coming into the office. There's a lot more biosecurity if you want to go through to the pigs. No, thank you. If you're only here to tell me about Linda, it could have waited till I got home. Oh, no. Or you could have rung... I've got my hands full this morning. I knew you wouldn't see how important this is. Duncan's off sick. Hannah's not sure we should have hired him. Why not? Well, the lad hasn't made the best of starts, but it's far too early to be thinking of letting him go. He's barely been here five minutes. It takes time to get used to a new job, doesn't it? And I've always seemed to manage quite well. I keep thinking about Jazzer. Didn't know a hawk from a snake when he first came to Ambridge. <laughs> no. Look at him now. A little unorthodox, perhaps, but a first-class pigman. You think Duncan's the same? Given the right support and a chance to prove himself, I've seen it happen. Oh, that's why you're in charge of Hannah and not the other way round. Hmm. <laughs> You've got the benefit of age and experience, <laughs> which is why Justin values you so highly, Neil. It's a great compliment, you know. Being asked to judge the pet competition at the fete. And to formally open the event. Linda was very clear when she rang. It was Justin who suggested it. Oh, I don't know where he got such a daft idea from. Oh, she was very keen herself. And said the rest of the fate committee completely agree. I don't want to do it, Susan. You've got to. Why? Well, if you don't, you'll offend Justin. What do I know about... Performing parakeets and juggling stick insects. This is the perfect opportunity. Oh, no. Now he's shown his faith in you, it'll be the <sighs> easiest thing in the world to mention what's happening at Bridge Farm. I told you I don't want to talk to him about it. Pets, party pieces, changes, everything. <sighs> That's why I came to tell you in person, in case you get a chance to die. Well, I'm not going to. He hardly ever comes to Barrow. Neil, you, you've got to strike while the iron's hot. Find an excuse to ring him. I haven't got one. Talk to him about pigs. I can't just pull something out of thin air. Mm, that never stops you at home. It isn't that easy. Once that's out of the way, just subtly remind him that Emma's on the list for one of the new homes. He'll pick up the hints. I don't want to drop hints. It's unprofessional. Hmm, that's how the world works, love. It's embarrassing. Only because you haven't got enough self-confidence. Look, I'm still getting established here. You are settling in all right. Oh, yeah. Good. It's quite something having such a lovely big office. Unit manager on the door plate. <sighs> your own whiteboard. I didn't ask for that. A lot better than fussing over your own pigs in the cold and wet, isn't it? Mm, yeah, definitely. So, you don't regret coming to Barrow? Oh, no, love, no. It, it's, it's the best move I've ever made. You've taken some finding, Brian. I was checking on the new fence. For the last three quarters of an hour. Oh, you've startled the hinds. Oh, I imagine they'll recover. <sighs> we'll have to go down in a few minutes anyway. You should have told me where you were going. Uh, I wanted to put my thoughts in order. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to shake them up again. How? 
when we go to the meeting, we are going to tell everyone we're selling the house. I'm sorry. Far rather we didn't have to, but it's uh, it's too late for regrets. Don't be ridiculous, Jenny. We can't sell it. Oh, please don't take that tone with me, Brian. It won't help. We have tried everything else. We've drawn up all sorts of contingencies. We brought Debbie back from Hungary. We've been involved solicitors. Well, that was Kate. The only thing we know for sure, there is no magic answer. Certainly not this. It's far from perfect, but anything else will break the family up and I won't allow it. You're exaggerating, Jenny. Kate will be upset for a while. We'll lose her forever. But she'll get over it when she needs another handout. And it's not just Kate. If we sell too much land, what's to keep Adam here? Has he threatened to leave? Well, it'll happen. You said yourself, Home Farm relies on scale. How long is he going to be satisfied working up a patchwork of bits and pieces? Well, what about Alice? She'll be furious if we suggest selling it. she won't. She hates the idea. She hates the thought that we're being pushed into it. If we explain it's our choice, Ah, then... What, because we've been cornered by our own children? We haven't been cornered. Debbie and Adam are refusing to vote for it, even though they both obviously think that it is the best option, as Ruth does. And Kate, and as I'm sure you actually do, Brian, when you're being honest with yourself. We can't. If we don't, if if you and I can't agree before the meeting, what's going to happen? We'll, We'll see if we can find a compromise. We've tried, and there isn't one. We've only created a great deal of bitterness. We have to bring the family together again. Only you and I can do that. I can't agree to it. There is no choice. But if I let that happen... I mean, I can't pretend I've been the best of husbands. I know that. There's no need to rake up the past. But the one thing I cling to is I've always put food on the table and a decent roof over our children's heads. And I've given you a home, Jenny. Is that why you think I've stayed with you? No, No. No, I only meant... If I can't even do that, what kind of man am I? I'm not with you because I need you, Brian. I stayed with you because I wanted to. In the same way I chose to prioritise being a a mother and a a grandmother and homemaker. Not because I couldn't do anything else. I realise that. In another life, who knows? Yes. I chose this life with, with this family... And I'll do whatever it takes to, to keep it together. But what about Rory? I mean, if we sell the house... God, he had such a difficult start, losing his mother. So I tried to provide some stability, a future he can look forward to. But he'll still have that. Well, what'll he think of me if I can't even keep his home safe? Have you spoken to him? Well, he knows what's going on in Low Mead. Well, of course he does. He heard the sale fall through. And he knows we've got to find money from somewhere. But I haven't said anything to him about the house. I didn't see the need. Mm, right. He had to be so disruptive with his exams and everything coming up next year. Well, I have spoken to him. We had a good chat last night. About giving up the house? Oh, about lots of things. And without going into too much detail about the problems here. He's really noticed the atmosphere since he came back for summer. Oh, That's partly why he spends so much time with Ed and Ben and Tilly. He's very sure about one thing. What's that? He'd far rather live somewhere smaller than see his whole family fall apart. I don't know, Jenny. If you really do care for me, Brian, and want what's best for all our children, it's quite simple. Mm. Is that Ruth arriving? Yes, yes, most likely. So, we'd better go down and tell everybody what we've decided. Hadn't we, Brian? 